Hey guys, this is just a quick video to show you how to connect one of these uh, national timers, also known as a universal timer, or well, the one that I have here is actually a WACO, a WACO universal timer. These are nice to use with your swimming pools and anything that you want to have in 24 hour operation. Let's get started. Okay, so I'll get you the schematic on the video um, on how to connect these quickly so you can see just how the electrical schematics are. But I can tell you quickly, uh, these two center points, they are actually bridged. This one and this one is actually bridged, so you'd never, it's never switched. So the power that you put on here, in my case the neutral, won't be switched. And then the live wire would go in here. But uh, this is where this one works a bit different to the normal uh, timers. It's usually with the normal timers, you put the power on here live and neutral, and then this is a normally open contact, which you would just put a live in and live out. But this timer does not work like that. If you've connected it like that, you'll probably get a short, and the power will be tripping. So what happens with this timer is the neutral goes in here, and it's always bridged to this, this one here. And then the live would go from here, and it's switched to go out on this side. So what you're going to do first is connect your live and neutral to these two points. So I can show you quickly what I mean with uh, that these two points are always connected. It's currently in the on position, so we should have continuity between these two points. You can hear the, the beeper going and these two points. Now if I turn this to switch it off, you'll hear that between these two, which I'm going to use as live, there's nothing, and between these two, it's still connected. So these two center parts are actually just bridged. You uh, test this by just switching your tester to the continuity, the ohm testing. Okay, so I've connected the two wires the live and the neutral. Uh, just note that your color schemes may be different from mine. And if we plug this in, you should actually hear the timer kick in and starts making a click, click, click noise. That indicates that the uh, motor part is, is actually working. I have had one or two of these that uh, out of the box they don't work. Uh, some of the gears fall off on the inside, which is probably a, a manufacturer's fault but uh, I've had some not work out of the box, so just check that it is working. So the next step is to actually connect either your motor or your swimming pool motor or uh, a light or whatever you want to connect on the other side. Just note that as it stands now, live neutral, the live is going to be on the outside and the neutral is going to be on the inside. Let's connect that quickly. So all I did today was connect a little 230 volt motor as that is what my supply is, is 230 volt, yours might be 110 volt, it might also be 400 volt, just make sure that your supply side uh, will be able to handle that. So if I switch the power on now, it should still be in the off position and when I turn the little dial, it should start. And there you go. Do note that these uh, these are labeled on and off. Uh, actually, well, on and off. The orange ones are on, and the white ones are labeled off. Make sure it does say it on the on the actual little tag as well. And you can put on as many as you like of these things. Well, as many as you have. It doesn't really matter. Depends on when you want to switch it on or off. And that will just switch it on and off. When setting the time on these timers, just check for the little arrow there. With the older ones, they were labeled uh, with a little a bit of white paint as well but this one is totally black i don't think you'll be able to see it on the video but there's a little triangle right there a little arrow that points to the to the time currently so when setting this thing you just have to turn it towards the time that it is now 
let's say it's 10 o'clock right now, so that's about 10 o'clock, and leave it there. And uh, yeah, then it'll just do its work as it should. It's a 24-hour timer, so every 24 hours it's, it repeats itself. When you do turn this wheel, don't turn it anti-clockwise. Turn it clockwise the way it should be running, so that you don't damage the gears inside. Also, there is a little manual switch at the top here. Just press it in and turn it clockwise. And that's manual override. So when you use this, it's going to be in, let's say you turn it on, it's going to be on until the next off switch. And when you turn it off, it's going to be off until the next on switch. So if you want to just use it manually, take out all your little tags here that switch it on and off. There you go, guys. Hope you enjoy. I'll see you again in the next video.